What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? Your boy Terry. Ah, speaking from the garage shop once again. Ah, we're gonna catch up. Now, you guys remember when I lowered the Trailblazer SS, all right? Now, it's been about a couple of weeks since, um, since I lowered it, and I've been driving around because I wanna wait for the truck to settle. And once it did settle, I took measurements from the floor to about right here in the center of the wheel, and uh, the passenger side measured in at 31 and 1 16th inch, where the driver's side measured at 30 and a half inches. So, now if you remember in the kit, it comes with eight and 16 millimeter shims, and when I, when I installed it, I installed 16 millimeter shims all around. So what I had to do was I went back in and I took out the shock and I installed the eight millimeter on the passenger side. So now the truck rides in on this side, on the passenger side, it's at 30 and three quarters. Where on the driver's side, it's 30 and three quarters and just a little touch over 30 and three quarters, which is good because by the time I put my 225 pound buttocks in the driver's seat, it, it levels it out nice and even. And that's what you want. You want a nice and even level car. And now I have a buddy who just installed coilovers all over on his on his Chevelle. And he calls me a freaking, right? And I'm like, yo man, what is wrong? <laughs> and he goes, oh, when I put the spanner nut, I got to the point where I'm leveling the car out and the spanner nut where, where you turn the, where you adjust the height of the, the car. He says in the rear, it's, it's like 12 uh, turns where on the driver's side, where on the, on the passenger side, it's only eight. And I was like, so what's your problem? He goes, it should be 12-12 or 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm like, no, it shouldn't. It should be just get the car level because the car's not gonna know, oh, well, you know, the driver's side is 12 and the passenger side is eight. No, the car's not thinking like that. No, the car's thinking, I'm nice and level. I'm hitting this turn at 90 miles an hour. So it doesn't matter how you get to it. Just as long as you get the car nice and level. Don't freak out over the numbers because I told him, there could be a lot of variables with playing the car not being 12-12. It's the car's old. It could be the car's just not perfectly centered. Like these cars, these old school cars didn't come out the factory perfect. Not to mention, now you're putting uh, parts on it that were never meant to be on it. So you got that, that adjustability with the spanner nut, so use it. And that's that's what it's all about, getting the car even. And, and I know him, he's gonna want that car to be 12-12 or 8-8, and the car's gonna ride, the car's gonna ride terrible. And he's gonna put it like that. You see, come down the rope like this. But don't freak out. Get the car level, and that's what it's all about. So now this truck is nice and level. All right. So I'm excited about this. It has a nice rate, and it, it drives really well. And I want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in on this Trailblazer project. Because like I said, it's gonna have something to do with you cats. All right. So I'm looking at that clock on the wall. Thanks. I say ceiling, and I'm gonna head on off because I got some more stuff to do to the truck, and you know I'm gonna be videotaping. You know I'm gonna be videotaping. All right. So until the next time we see each other, please, as always, as always, as always, mm, be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.